enjoyed their courses, inspectors asked what was the one thing that the students at Newby College wanted? What would they like to improve? Obviously, inspectors were in, in, expecting to hear something about better food or better parking or a few more computers or even a comment about teaching and learning. But they were surprised or perhaps a little embarrassed to hear that what our students wanted was a sports hall. So not to be defeated, governors at the time, and especially um, Tony Allen and Sue Wood, strongly supported the learner's view. Managers then started to try to raise the funds for the, the building and were hoping for a large contribution of capital funds from the government at the time. But unfortunately, for all sorts of reasons, uh, those funds were in the premium, so we weren't able to go down that particular route. But ever the optimists or opportunists, whichever way you want to see it, we decided to explore how we could find the money for this building ourselves. And we were able to achieve a grant from the Skills Funding Agency to help us do it. But we did um, put most of the money into this building ourselves. But whilst, afford, whilst exploring what we could afford, we came across a company called Ball Hall, who are noted up there, and also the Daniel Common Partnership, who, following a tender process, brought on board Thomas Bale Construction, who helped to bring the new building uh, to completion on time and on budget, or nearly on budget anyway. <laughs> to all those, which is always true, but to all those involved from Ball Hall, and we do have John Lloyd and Alan Hodgkinson here this evening, to those from Daniel Connell Partnership, and especially Chris May, but unfortunately he can't be here. He had a better offer from his father, who's um, got a birthday party this evening. And all the guys from Thomas Vale Construction, especially Paul Birchall and Simon Sparks, we say well done and thank you. We watched in amazement and delight, and particularly our students did so, as the building rose from the ground to completion in only six months. The whole project was videoed on a webcam, and a great deal of that material was used to help our construction students as well learn how these things happen. So, just a few more thank yous and I promise I'll be finished. To the Skills Funding Agency for their contribution. Peter, we're always grateful for any money you can come up with. I know Denise can't be here this evening, but Peter and Martin always remember Okay. Newbury College. <laughs> um, we also say thank you to college governors who had the foresight to take a risk and go with a good but slightly more expensive design. There are many other organisations that we want to thank this evening, um, particularly West Parks Council, Green and Parish Council, Barton Wilmore, our planning consultants, Bevan Britton, our legal advisors, you have a whole army of people with these kind of buildings. We've had help and support from the Education Funding Agency and from Raising the Participation Partnership. We've had a lot of support from Sport England, we've had support from Berkshire Cricket, and it's really good that we've got Cecil and the two marks here this evening, somewhere at the back there. So thank you to all of you. Thank you to Hampshire Cricket, Berkshire Volleyball, and to other local clubs such as Taekwondo, Basketball, Badminton and Futsal. And finally, I'd like to say a special thanks to all the staff and students who've been involved in designing, developing and bringing to completion this facility. I think especially I ought to say a thank you to Bill Blythe and Steve Long. They're good project managers and they really did do a very good job in seeing this project to fruition. Julie Milburn, who's the curriculum manager, 
unfortunately she's not able to be here tonight. And all of our sports students as well. So thank you to all of you. To be able to open this facility in the Olympic year really does represent a great opportunity for the college and our learners. There are so many people and organisations to thank and if we've missed any, uh, we've not forgotten you and please accept our thanks. So, finally to say, following um, the unveiling of the plaque, to call on Nick Carter, who's the chairman of the College Corporation, just to propose a vote of thanks. We'll then uh, go to the newly built gallery up the top there and viewing area, and you'll also be able to have a few more refreshments. Okay, so thank you for being patient. <laughs> I now have the greatest of pleasure and also grateful thanks because I know he's been really busy today to call on champion jockey A.P. McCoy to officially open the Newbury College Sports Centre by unveiling the commemorative plan. Thank you, Sir. Uh, I'm very honoured to have been asked to, to open this new facility. Um, I think it's even more obvious now in the, in the Olympic year how powerful and important sport is, so it's, it's great for you to have such a, uh, an amazing facility. I'm not going to speak too long, although especially not in college, because I left school when I was 15, so... That's what I said about Although I did say to, to one of my nieces, when she lots of A's in her, in her exams recently, that, that she wouldn't do as well as I did, because I got a doctorate in science from Queen's University in Belfast. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't feel any of my exams, because I didn't take them. <laughs> so, um, and the other thing I wanted to mention, obviously, the, the, sports person out of year winning that was amazing in, in 2010 whatever it was. I'd be very lucky if I get a seat in the audience to watch it this year later. <laughs> <laughs> so, well. so thank you very much for asking me to open it. Yeah. 